Hey everybody, I just couldn't wait. So I had to push the go live button maybe one minute early. I was just like watching the clock and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to push the button and go live. Hey everybody, welcome to my Tuesday live. On Tuesdays, I decided this was the best day for me to go on YouTube uh, and really just talk about this week's tutorial, what I have coming up and go over all the things that I can't squeeze into a tutorial because it would just make it too long. Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, just use this time to dive into why I chose certain materials, what I realized in the process of making this project. And it's really cool to just go over what the upcoming tutorial is. That way you have some background knowledge, can ask me questions, and I can just talk a little bit more about the project. So I'm really excited about doing this every Tuesday. So I hope that you enjoy it too. So welcome everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, if you hear any obnoxious like snoring no noises at all, my dog Bella is right here. Let me see if I can actually show you. <laughs> so if you hear any like large snores, it's her. <laughs> she likes to sit in my office with me. Um, so yeah. Uh, what am I going over? So this Friday's tutorial is the boho basket. So it's going to be this guy right here. I'm so excited about this project. I've been wanting to make it for a really long time. And now that it's out, I'm just oh, just infatuated with it. I'm in, over the moon. It's so exciting. These baskets turned out so great. And I can't wait to share with you how I made them. It's going to be awesome. So when it comes to the boho basket, again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the chat. I have my incredible moderator, Hannah, who's going through questions. She's going to text me questions as they come through. That way, after I'm done talking about the boho basket, I can do a Q&A session with you and go over all of your questions and make sure that those are answered. If you are a member to my channel, use your emojis. Use them. Go crazy with them. I can't wait for you. I can't wait to see you go crazy with them. All right. When it comes to the boho basket, it was one of those projects that <laughs> that has just so much versatility in use. What I did with this basket is I crocheted two yarns together throughout the whole project, even for this border of the basket. Look at that. What do you think of the texture? I crocheted with two strands for strength, for structure. And that was something that was important to me when it came to baskets was I wanted to be able to put something heavy in here and it still hold up. I didn't want anything flimsy, anything that would fall apart, anything that was kind of a waste. I wanted this to have a purpose. I wanted it to have a use. I wanted anyone to be able to use this for whatever they needed also. So this basket is strong. Do I have anything in here? I want to put it to the test. What do I got? I know what I have. This is going to be a bit obnoxious, but you'll get the point. It actually also looks really cute as a plant basket. I don't know. Just get right up close to you.
Ta-da! All right. Okay, so yes, that was a little bit obnoxious, but I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with you. So the thing with this basket, a lot of times people get caught up with the flimsiness of the basket. They're like, we want structure. We want this basket to be stiff on the sides. Now here I will admit, this basket is flimsy. So if I were to prop it up, make it look all pretty. I like this green color. It's one of my favorite colors. It does fold. It is flimsy. There's nothing hard in here. There's no ropes. There's no, there's no metal rings. There's nothing like that in the basket to make it like super strong where if I held it up, I could place something on top and it wouldn't go anywhere. That is a fully crocheted basket. Now, if you wanted something uh, like really strong and sturdy, I would recommend that you used a rope. There is a craft rope that you can use that stays really strong and sturdy. I wouldn't use a stiffener on this. Some people might think, yeah, just use a stiffener or um, some kind of firming spray. I don't think it's going to do what you want because for a couple reasons. One, this is a really thick basket be a lot for that spray you'd be caking that spray on here to even come close to what you want it to do and even then i don't know if it would 100 percent do what you want it to do okay but what i really like is the way we structure i structured these stitches is that it holds its own it stands up by itself there's a side view back view there we go. These handles are doubled over, so they are strong. They really hold up and they're squishy and comfortable. It's like I'm trying to sell you the basket when it's like we're going to make it. <laughs> this is something we're making together and I'm just like super excited about it. So what materials did I use to make this basket? I used do I have one out? Okay, I'll just I'll just put it back. So I've used four skeins of impeccable loops and threads, impeccable yarn for the color of the basket, and then one skein of impeccable yarn that I divided in two for the top of the basket. So a total of five skeins to make this. Now I didn't use all of the yarn. You absolutely can if you want to. I tried making a basket a, a long time ago. I made this exact basket using every bit of the yarn provided and the basket was just too large and too wide to really hold structure. It was a lot more flimsy it just couldn't hold it the way this size basket can so if you want to you can make this a really really big basket you'll have the material to do so but i would probably stick with the dimensions that i guide you with okay the uh, putting that back all right let me look at my pattern real quick just to double check the crochet hook that i used was a K101 slash two or a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. I used the K or the 6.5 millimeter crochet hook because I'm working with two yarns at the same time and I wanna make sure that my crochet hook is big enough for working with those two strands and not losing a strand or splitting a strand. So I liked the K. You're also going to need a yarn needle or tapestry needle. There, there will be ends to just weave in. That's all you're gonna need those for and a pair of scissors. So it's pretty basic in that regard to anything that you would need. So if you have any questions about the basket, I, or you feel free to ask in the comment section. I'm about to go to questions here 
in just a second. But I did want to mention that this basket, the boho basket, is my February kit box. So if you are somebody that is really interested in my kit boxes or you want a project, you want to do this project, but it's hard for you to get your hands on the materials, I created kit boxes for that very reason, for anybody that's just struggling to get their hands on materials. I have, I've had this question come up to me since I started on my YouTube channel. Tiffany, I want to make what you're making, but I cannot get my hands on the materials that you're using or working with for your projects. So I created the kit boxes as a an optional alternative for you to get your hands on materials. I just send you everything. And it'll look like this. Ah. So it'll come with the pattern printed out for you so you don't have to print it out. And I used little Barrett because he was just super cute. He did that himself. He hopped in and that's why it's flimsy on that side. He just jumped in the basket and wanted to lay in the basket. I thought it was so cute. So you get the pattern. Get crochet hook and a yarn needle. You get all the yarn needed for the project. And something huge that I did for you is I made sure that the last skein for the brim, I divided it out for you. I caked it in half for you so you don't have to do it yourself. I show you how to do it, how to divide a skein in half in the video that I'm releasing on Friday. So if you get all the materials, you can just watch that video and see how I can guide you to, to doing this step, not even caking it, just rolling it into balls. But that way you don't have to buy two skeins to work two different yarns. You can just use the one skein and have enough materials to finish off the top of the basket. So you can find this kit in any one of these five colors. I have gray, blue, purple, green, and taupe brown. Love all these colors so much. You can find all the kits on my website, crochetwithtiffany.com. I only have a limited supply because I'm fronting the cost for all of this and I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> so, so I'm trying to help you guys out with materials as best as I can, but I don't have a lot of inventory. So if you want a kit, I would hop over there quickly before, before they sell out. And... I think that's everything for the kit, the basket, the project that is going live on Friday. This is going to be huge. It's going to be so big. I can't wait to make this project with you guys. And again, it's one of those things where if you want to get the materials yourself, go for it. I bought it at Michael's. How, you know, Get whatever color you want. I just thought this was great for me to just ship it to you. Easy peasy. No problem. Uh, also, Oh, what else? I just lost my train of thought. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Also, if you don't want to buy the pattern at all, I'm going to have the instructions on the screen for you. It's just honestly really helpful to have this pattern right next to you going through it as we go step by step. That way, if you need to reference something, it's right there for you. And it's great to have just forever. It's the, your, your pattern once you buy it. It's, have it forever, make as many as you want, have fun. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for that. The other thing I wanted to talk about today in this live is Warm Up America. So if you are have been part of my channel for a little while, I started the Warm Up America campaign last month in January, started January 21st. It ends February 23rd. So it ends next week, guys. Wednesday of next week is the last day to ship anything to Warm Up America for it to count towards my campaign. Oh my gosh. Uh, thank you so incredibly much. Hold on. I need to address this. Cheers, the internet. I'm blown away. Thank you so incredibly much for the support. It helps me out so much because it just goes right back. I, I circulate everything back here for you guys. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, that was very, very sweet. You're going to make me cry here on a live. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Warm up America. So yes, warm up America. It ends on Wednesday, the 23rd, last day for you to 
have a postage stamp on there for it to count towards our campaign. And I say our because this isn't my campaign. This is not me personally donating donating to Warm Up America. This is us. This is all of us. Together, we are helping the Warm Up America Foundation to help keep the homeless warm. And the homeless include men, women, and children. And that's why they asked for all sizes, from baby to child to teenager to women, men. They needed hats, beanies, scarves, cowls, gloves, fingerless gloves was the need. And if you have already donated, you are amazing. You are so amazing. Thank you so much. I still have my box that I need to ship out. <laughs> uh, but if I need to run it in, I live like 30 minutes from the Warm Up America Foundation, which was by accident. That was total luck. I thought that was really crazy funny, but I love it. Um, but I have a whole box filled with beanies and scarves that I can't wait to donate. So if you are participating, even donating just one thing, that would be awesome because we're together. We're helping to warm up people that are just really cold right now. Um, and then also, if you can't donate a physical item, they are uh, looking for monetary donations on their website, which is warmupamerica.org. Uh, you can donate mon money to them and they use that money to ship the items to wherever there's a need. or to for, for gas money so they can deliver the items to wherever there is a need because they don't or they help or, or little charities all over the United States. It's Warm Up America. So the Warm Up America Foundation helps organizations, helps charities, helps the need of people all over the country. So if they need to ship something to a location, they have to have money for it, and it's a nonprofit organization. So that's just an option to help them out if you would like to do that. All right. That is all I have to say right now. Maybe, you know what? I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to do this for you guys. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of something that's coming out next week. It's not my main tutorial for next week, but I had to squeeze something in there because I promised you guys that I would start doing stuffed animals. I got to show you these. So this tutorial is going live next week. I love the owl. I think he's so cute. He's got little ears. He's got little feet. I'm going crazy over him. I love the owl. I've made so many. I've even taken the pattern and like expanded it, blown it up so he was like huge. So you look like when you hold him, you're like, <laughs> the owl is one of my favorite stuffed animals to make. And I can't wait for you to make him as well. So he is going to go live next week. So stay tuned. If you haven't got notifications for my channel yet, you might want to hit on the notification. So as soon as this goes live, you can see it and you don't miss it. But yeah, I'm so excited. All right. That's enough show and tell. Enough show and tell. Okay, so now I am ready for Q&A questions. And this is a great opportunity. If I get a lot of people asking me questions, emailing me, contacting me on social media, and I get really busy. I do. And so having this opportunity for me to talk to you live and just this is this is my time. I'm here to dedicate to answering your questions, helping you out through something. This is a great opportunity for you to try to get that question answered. So I'm going to start doing this on a more regular basis every Tuesday going live on here. Hopefully you can make it. If you can't, keep trying to hit me up with my, my email or my social media. I do what I can. Or check out my membership program. I love, love, love the Crafters Gathering. I've updated all of my memberships. So if you didn't know that, recheck them out. Now that I have my feet on the ground with them. I have more of an understanding of what's going on with them. I have revamped my membership program. So check it out again. YouTube is still kind of struggling with the join button on phones and tablets. I don't know why I keep asking them. 
the best way to see the membership program or join is if you have a computer or there's a loophole, if you go to Safari or the internet browser on your phone or tablet, physically type in www.youtube.com slash crochet with Tiffany Hansen. It'll take you to the desktop version. You want the desktop version of YouTube. See my channel page and you can see that join, red join button for more information. So if you have any other questions on that, feel free to ask me however you want to ask me. But the Crafters Gathering has been the best. It's been so awesome. And I just enjoy it so incredibly much being able to see you, being able to hear you and having that community feel. And it's really great if you have a question for me to be able to see what you're talking about, see what you're working with. Makes it a lot easier for me to answer your question. <laughs> so think about it. All right. So questions that I have. Questions that I have here are. Uh, what are some things that I like to do besides crochet? I think my favorite things to do besides crocheting, I love to read, love to read, and I love to color. That's kind of my thing is coloring, adult, adult coloring books. I love like a fresh, a fresh box of colored pencils or a fresh box of crayons. Are you like me where when you get a brand new box of crayons or a brand new box of colored pencils, you just want to dive in there and like instantly use them. That's me. I, I just like have to do something with it. It's I love, love, love like fresh crayons and fresh colored pencils. And I love to color and I love to read. It's something I really enjoy before I go to bed. It's downtime for me. Um, what is my favorite color? My favorite color is black. And it's really funny because I recently... I recently read something where if black is your favorite color, then you love every color on the spectrum. And I don't know if you knew this already, but black is basically every color combined and it makes black. And that makes a lot of sense because I, I struggle with picking a favorite color. I love so many different colors and there's a spectrum, right? And I love so many different shades of colors. Just, I love color. Uh, most particularly, I really enjoy colors that uh, have kind of a, a muted look to them. Like eucalyptus is one of my favorite colors, that the, that plant, the color of that plant. Um, so I'm not very helpful with that, but I love to wear black and black is one of my favorite colors. So all right. Has anyone ever told you you look like Adele? No but that's very flattering. Thank you. <laughs> uh, ocean girl for the basket. Why that yarn? Great question. Why that yarn? There's a couple reasons. One is I really want that yarn was, I liked the structure of it. I liked one that it was solid. I liked that it wasn't flimsy. Like, let me give you an example. All right, so an example, let me get one. All right, so the reason I chose loops and threads, impeccable yarn to make the basket was because I noticed that with two strands, it held a structure. It made it strong. Um, this, too flimsy it wouldn't hold anything this this doesn't hold anything there's no structure there same with this there's no structure there even Karen simply soft there's there's no structure there but for some reason 
this one, it was strong and it just held structure really well. Now, why this one opposed to a red heart or uh, an I love this yarn or a Vanna's choice? Now, technically, you could use those. You absolutely could. Uh, the reason why I chose this one was because, one, I really wanted to utilize a Michaels name brand because it is my goal to really represent Michaels. I really like Michaels, the store. I shop there all the time and I really want to represent them. So I wanted to use a loops and thread brand. Uh, but the other reason why I chose this one is I loved their color choices. Their, their color choices hit that tone that I really like. The, um, I'm gonna set these down. The blue, the purple, and the green were all like a dusty color. And I really like that color. The, the gray and the taupe, same. They're, they were right in that color shade that I was looking for. And so I was like, that's great. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So it hit the colors I wanted. It hit the brand that I was looking for to represent. And the material itself just worked out really well and I really liked it. So if you want to use something else, I would substitute Red Heart Super Saver would work because we all know that it is very, uh, has the ability to be very stiff, work very structured. Um, I love this yarn could, would work and Vanna's Choice yarn would work. So if you wanted to substitute those those three would work off the top of my head. I mean, there's thousands of, of brands of yarn out there, and I'm sure that other brands would work also, but those are the, just the three off the top of my head that I can think of. Great question, though. Thank you so much for asking that. Um, can I order a kit if I'm in the UK? Yes, you can. Now, you'll have to pay a little bit extra with shipping because shipping there is more, <laughs> but you can, yes, go to my website. We have made sure that there is an international ability to purchase the kit. I made, I double checked. I made sure that that was an option. Thank you for asking that question as well. All right. Um, and then are you using a four weight yarn? Yes, it is a four weight yarn. Four weight or worsted medium, Aaron, 10, 12 ply or 8 WPI, depending on where you live in the world. That's how you identify the size of your yarn. Oh, I'm, the tutorial is, is a lot of fun. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Does it have to be crocheted or can we send blankets and socks and stuff from stores? Oh, so Candy asked a question about Warm Up America. Does it have to be crocheted? So for the Warm Up America campaign, it, it does because they're promoting um, a handmade gift or handmade items. It's just their thing. But if you want to, you know, that's a great question. I'm going to write that down and I will address it in my community tab. Okay. So on my channel, if you, if you go to Crochet with Tiffany Hansen, my front page of my channel, on the top it says like about then um, videos, playlists, and community. If you go to my community, I will answer that question there. Let me talk to my person at Warm Up America and see if they'd accept uh, purchased items like you were saying, socks and, uh, and blankets. Okay, so Warm Up America, can they donate? Socks and what else did you say? Oh, and stuff for, from stores. Stuff from stores. Great question, Candy. Thank you so much for asking that. Yes, I'll make sure I do that, and that's where I will respond with the answer once I get it. Um, I made. Oh, you made an owl market bag. I love that. That's super cool. I think I've seen them. Okay, um, several months ago, you showed a bunch of upcoming tutorials you were going to do in this group of items. You showed a cute little toddler girl. Will you, 
Will you be doing a tutorial for this anytime soon? Uh, was was that uh, this child sweater? I think I think that's what you're referring to. Um, so I am putting the toddler sweater on hold temporarily, just because I have so many other tutorials that have taken over my whole schedule for this year is is booked solid. I've literally gone over my calendar for the entire year. And I noticed that the toddler, I looked at other people's tutorials for toddler sweaters and people just didn't want to watch them. And I was like, okay, well, if people don't want to watch them and I have so many tutorials to do, that one, that toddler sweater might just be put on hold for a second. So if you really, really want it, we can do a poll on my channel and I'll see how many people want to make it. And if enough people want to make it kind of like the campfire cardigan where that was like so many people want to make it. I was like, okay, okay, I'll do it. Um, if enough people want to make it, I can try to squeeze that one in to my schedule. But right now I have a year's worth. 2022 is booked. It's done. Um, so my moderator is sending me the messages, the questions, so that way I can just quickly answer them for you and not scroll, scroll, scroll. By the way, thank you for being here. You guys are awesome. Seriously. Tuesday night, you're here spending time with me. Mad love. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Uh, Mose. I don't see Mose. Where's Mose? wanted the blue boho basket seems to be very popular um do you do lives at a regular day and time i don't want to miss you so this is brand new i i think this is the third one that i have done consecutively i want to start doing these lives every tuesday evening at 7 p.m central standard time texas time because i live here in texas so i want to start doing it on tuesday so i can talk about the materials the kit. So if you want to, if the project that I'm doing looks interesting to you, you can have time to purchase materials. If I have a kit available, you have time to order the kit before my tutorial goes live on Friday. Uh, I, If you did order a kit already, I already had a bunch sell. I shipped them out first thing this morning. And I know I just messaged you the, the tracking information, but those went out first thing this morning. So you should be already tracking it. It's on its way to you. Um, I tried doing double crochet. Can you do a tutorial for people with trouble holding their hands, fingers in the best position for better, faster crocheting? I mean, honestly, I want to say your name right here. It's Quest. Quastarcella Borum. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, she, they asked, can you do a tutorial for people having trouble holding their hands, fingers in the best position for better or faster crocheting? Honestly, it's just practicing it over and over and over again. Everybody is going to kind of suck when they first start. I mean, just being blunt. It takes practice. It takes you just giving yourself time, giving yourself patience. Both of your hands are doing something totally different. This hand is doing this. This hand is doing that. And doing it together is kind of like that whole, it, it, it's, it's hard sometimes getting it down. And it's really important for you to take your time and go slow in the beginning. And the more you do it, the faster you get. And it's just, it's just that. So just, keep practicing. I would practice on easier stitches. That way you're not focused on, oh, how do I do that? And practicing, you, it's an easy stitch. So you just get repetitive and then you're not having to count. You're just going and then you get faster and faster and faster. So that's, that's the best advice I have. Just be kind to yourself. Be patient. It will come. It will. I mean, it's not fair for me because I've been crocheting since I was five years old. 
Um, I'm doing math right now. It's 22, 32 years. <laughs> I'm 37. So 32 years of crocheting. I, I, I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Love, love, love. Um, I'm wanting to make another of your like to substitute the yarn for a Karen's cake lion brand mandolin set. Okay. Okay. So Lisa, you are asking if you can sub, you want to make the Tiffany top. You want to substitute the yarn for a Karen skinny cake or a lion brand mandala. Is that okay? I mean, sure. If, absolutely. I used a size three weight yarn and I think those are also size three weight yarns. Have fun. I used, I really liked the yarn that I used because it was a 100% cotton. So if it ever got wet, uh, it was no problem, nothing to worry about. You could easily use it as a bathing suit cover or if it got dirty, smudged on, just throw it in the washing machine and it was fine. Um, the one thing that I would just mention is the care instructions will be a little bit different. I might lay that one flat to dry if you're going to use the skinny, the Karen skinny cake or the lime brand mandala. Okay. I would not put that in the dryer. It would cause it to frizz a little bit and maybe a little bit of stitch shrink. But yeah, you could absolutely use that yarn to make it. That'd be really, really pretty. I think I've seen other people do that. Um, love, love these lives and updates for next week. I'm glad you like Christine. Thank you for the feedback. I'm glad that you're enjoying this. I try to be fun. <laughs> uh, and... Okay, got Lisa. Donna, do you ever use ladder yarn? I'm not sure if I know what ladder yarn is. What's ladder yarn? Help, help me out in the chat. If you know what ladder yarn is, help me out. I don't think I've ever used ladder yarn. I don't know what ladder yarn is. Um, Oh yeah. If you're loving this chat, if you have, if you're just having a lot of fun here, you've got to come, you've got to check out my, my crafters gathering. You'd have a blast. This is, this is a lot of what we do in the crafters gathering, but we talk more about, we have a, a section for questions. We have a section where we all share what we're working on right now, what's on our hook. And then we also talk about, um, I ask a question and then we're not allowed to answer that question until the next meeting. And then we spend the rest of the time talking about that question, which leads to us just chatting and just having this great time together. So yeah, if you're loving this, you would love the Crafters Gathering. Um, and then also I, I joined the Crafters Gathering and the Pattern Vault together. So there's only two levels of membership now, not, not three. And the Pattern Vault will have all of my patterns written on it. I did have somebody ask me, they got the Pattern Vault and they said that there was a tutorial they were watching and the pattern doesn't exist anymore. So the pattern vault is most, most specific to any pattern that I have created because I have full control over that pattern. And if you struggle to get it for whatever reason, I'm like, boom, I have it on this flash drive right here. I can send it to you. No problem. I got you. But if it's somebody else's pattern that I did a tutorial for and they removed their pattern from the link that I have attached in the video. There, it sucks. There's nothing I can do about it because it's their pattern. Um, the best thing I can advise is I have the saving grace of putting the instructions on the screen of my video. So if the, if the pattern was removed by the creator, you can always just kind of follow along with the video, write down the instructions and be able to make anything that I made a video on. I, I did that for so many reasons, putting the instructions on the screen, but I love, love the fact that um, the pattern is there for you. I try to help you guys out as much as possible. And so that's all the control I have for patterns. The pattern vault is really just anything that's mine that is now yours and in the future as well. So it has all my past stuff and anything in the future I work on that gets put on there 
you get access to. All right, Mush. Oh, got two questions here. Hannah, you're on it. Thank you so much. Everyone say thank you, Hannah. <laughs> She's awesome. She's on this. Okay, so Cromilda. Hi, Tiffany. I also want to make a Tiffany top, but I want to make it in cotton. Acrylic bothers me. It is itchy. So. Oh, itching so bad. Thanks. Yes, mine was 100% cotton. Do I have the... I don't know if I have the... Oh, it was cotton cakes. Yes, it was Karen cotton cakes. I used just the linen one. That's the one I used. So... um. I really liked using the 100% cotton. So if you're allergic to acrylics, which some people are, it's amazing what people can be allergic to. Uh, I, I hear more people being allergic to wool, which is which is fairly common, but also acrylic, which is very interesting. So it's very important when you make something for somebody to ask them if they have any allergies. You'd be surprised. All right, Michelle, my favorite yarn is Feels Like Butter. Oh, that one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That one's, that one's nice. That one's nice. Have you used it? What do you think about it? I love it so much. So I like, I'm like walking all over my office for you guys. <laughs> all right. Okay. Feels like butter. I got it. I have it. I really, really like it. I think I used a similar yarn to this to make my bunnies. <gasps> have you guys seen my bunnies? I made bunnies last year. Let me get them. <sighs> you guys remember these guys? Made these last year. The yarn that I used on these was, uh, it was a Hobby Lobby yarn that was, felt just like this. Feels like butter. Oh my gosh. So I've made things with it and it's so soft and it works up really nice. I mean, honestly, I would compare these two yarns together. So I feel comfortable sharing this project and the stitch quality with you. But yeah, I have only really played with that project with it. I have a, this yarn was intended to make a pillow. Maybe one day, one day. Thought bubble, pillow. <laughs> oh yeah, it's beautiful yarn. It's well-structured, it's strong. And it has a feel of, it's not quite velvet, but so soft, so soft. Good stuff. I like it a lot. Wish I could use more of it. Uh, what I would use on it or to, with it. I love the stuffed animals. Uh, I could see a blanket. I could see clothing. I could definitely see like a sweater with this. Not a, I wouldn't make a beanie with this. I mean, maybe a bucket hat because I think it would be flimsy, floppy. I don't think it would. It hold. It would show textured stitches really well because it's solid. But um, yeah, I was gonna make a pillow with it. Maybe one day. Um, what's the Hobby Lobby yarn? Uh, I love this yarn. Is Hobby Lobby? Um, it's usually yarn B. Yarn B and then something. They have tons and tons of yarn. Uh, I don't have any of the comparable yarn to the Feels Like Butter. There I am. I don't have any any of the yarn, the Yarn B yarn that's comparable to Feels Like Butter here with me anymore. But I might share that with my next live. I don't want to be like running around everywhere, like getting this, getting that. I want to make sure that I'm not like out of frame for, for like a third of the video, but, but I know they have it. So 
yeah. I don't have any other questions here. You guys are so incredible for being here with me tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all of the incredible donations. I am just overwhelmed. Like, that is so awesome. Thank you so much. Wow, I am definitely going to do such, such beautiful things with that. You, thank you. <laughs> you guys are awesome. The, my members, I hope you had fun with your emojis today. Just loving on the emojis. Uh, I hope that you guys have a blast with my boho basket on Friday. Uh, check out my website. I love my website. I think it's easy to navigate. It has a lot of information there. I feel like it's more structured than my YouTube channel is because my YouTube channel is kind of more like whatever I place out and things get lost, videos get lost. My channel, my website is a lot more structured for you to find things. Uh, but thank you so much for being here today. I hope you had fun and I will see you Tuesday next week with the next live with another project that I am super excited to share with you. Yeah, I'm really excited. That one's going to be fun. <laughs> that. And we'll probably talk a little bit more about these guys. All right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful evening. I've had so much fun with you. I'm going to go back through and just read through all of your comments because I really enjoy it. And if you watch this video after the live, I'll keep reading your comments there. Have a great evening, guys. I will see you next week with another one. If you want more, check out my memberships and my crafters gatherings. Bye, guys.